Jimmy and Nicola's relationship as man and wife? How would you describe it? It's been a very long, rocky road. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, we got married uh, June the 6th, 2000. This is what you're messing with. Oh, well, remember remembering that. Six year, point. six year marriage, which is a long time in soaps, any soap, I think. And, uh, yeah, we've had our ups and downs. Jimmy's lost the house, he lost his business. Um, she helped get it, get it back for him. Um, so Does she wear the trousers, really? Yes, very much yeah. so, yeah. J Jimmy was kind of... came in as one of the enforcers in the King family, which were all very bad guys, and then had a kind of... Um, Damas Damascene moment when he changed and, and tried to soften himself up, but went a little bit too too soft. So, yeah, Nicholas sorted him out and keeps him straight. I can out. see really. I mean, obviously, you know, she's since the fire and the accident, she's paralysed, and and he's trying so hard to look after her. But I can see why he's really irritating her now. Yeah, and she doesn't go for that. They're a very sex sexual couple, and um, they've always been very fiery. And suddenly he's being a nursemaid, which yes. doesn't attract her at all. Mm. So, uh, but it hasn't <laughs> put her off. It hasn't dampened her sex drive. No, it there hasn't. you were. <laughs> you were Liam or Dan. You know, physiotherapy being very professional, yeah. and she very hands on. In. He's just helping out because Dan's <laughs> tra he's training out. to be a paramedic, you know. Yeah. So for him, he's, he's thinking, you know, a bit of on-the-job training, sort of thing. And then uh, they get this little connection between each other, and it, he's not looking for that. And I don't think mm. she's really looking for that. I take, it takes them both by surprise that it happens. It certainly did with yeah. Dan because he just did a runner and nearly fell over. So, so. as as colleagues and mates on on Emma, we know you're a very close knit bunch up there. Um, do you love it when you see these storylines that there's going to be a bit of aggro between you? Do you yeah, think, this oh, is great. Because we've never worked together before, have we? We haven't yeah. worked together at all, and this is still playing out. You know, six weeks later, we still haven't got to the end of this. So it's mm. a lovely, juicy story, and get to playing with somebody who I've never worked with before. So it was great because they built our friendship up first, didn't they? Yeah. And then started to move into this story. So it's, yeah, been, it's been great. It's been really well done. We've got a new producer, um, Ian McLeod, who's very interested in friendships mm. and not just supportive friendships, like for Ashley with his his mm. problems, but actually the kind of things, yeah. other things that happen within yeah. friendships. Um, and that's been really interesting as well. And do they tell you what's going to happen? Do you know the outcome of this? Do, are you involved in any way and kind of saying we think it would be good if it went this way or that I way? To a certain extent, don't we? But not everything. You can you can find out as much as you want to find out, really. Yeah, I don't. People, some people go upstairs and are asking yeah. the producer all the time what's happening next. Yeah. But I, I'm quite. Happy but to is it, is it fair to say that it will be a, a tough enough summer for the Kings? It's going to be rough. Yes, yeah. indeed. Mm. And it's going to be a bit rough for us as well. Yeah, the uh, the way it kind of pans out after this is going to be quite interesting yeah. in, uh, on a number of fronts. Liam, maybe it's just me, but I'm sensing a bit of home wrecking coming on here. Hmm. <laughs> quite, quite possibly. Yes. <laughs> um, Could you handle that? Home wrecker. It's, well, it's, it's not in Dan's personality to be a home wrecker at all, yeah. you know. Um, but there's, there's, there's things that are going to happen which are going to change relationships, which kind of go this way and that. And I don't know how much I can give away, really. Mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs for, for all of us. Really. Well, Good, that's gonna, what we like. Yeah, and things are going to change in Coronation Street as well. You live in Manchester, don't you? Maybe you're in the wrong soap, but... Uh... <laughs> well, I don't know, do you know what I mean? You can't beat the Dales. When you walk into that village in the morning... I've been there five years, the other yeah, day. Yeah. I just took a picture of walking to work and just went, do you know what, I am... Damn and do you never? I mean, you've been how many years now? I've been there twelve years, and he's right. You know, you, you never see. Never tire of it. No, you see hairs bounding around, red kites up in the sky. Yeah. So yeah. It's a fabulous place and to work. And you're, you're filming more with the new producer outside. He's making more of that environment. He seems to be yeah. getting us into the village a lot more, which mm -hmm. is, is is really um, Emmerdale's trump card. So that's very exciting for us. Yeah. Well, we know Corrie. We're talking about Corrie there. They're going to six episodes a week, I think, mm. in the new year. You already do six. It's a piece of cake, isn't it? Yeah. So. <laughs> I do no sympathy for no, them. Yeah, just get on with it, not ah, come on. That's it. It'll be seven for you now. You've oh, yeah. Your producers yeah. there going, right, they think it's that easy. <laughs> we'll do seven. Well, listen, it's good to see you both. Uh, give our love to everyone up there at Emmerdale, and um, we will watch with interest what happens with the, the, the Jimmy and Dan friendship. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. lads. Thank you very much indeed. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. With the modelling, I've just kind of done it all. I've done every magazine in the UK. I've done it. I in, know I've got them all. In, <laughs> <laughs> I've done them in Australia, in Germany. I've just done them all, and I kind of said to my agent, I said, I do love this, but 
where do you go from there? You know, is it a kind of, do I leave when I'm, you know, when the calls are still coming in or do I wait to be kind of, you know, further down the line yeah. for come and do this shoot? So, yeah, it was just kind of a nice conscious decision, really, that I thought I'd done all I could do with it. I had a blast doing it, absolutely loved it. Um, but my passion was acting and so I went back to 